Tonight, several public schools and government offices in Lake County will have less money to work with next year. That is because First Energy has changed the valuation of Perry Nuclear Power Plant. Channel 3's Brandon Simmons has details on what that means. Perry Power Plant started generating back in 1987 with the promise of bringing millions of tax dollars to the county, and it has done that. But First Energy filed a much lower public utility valuation back in March. Schools and county government offices now learning they'll be losing millions of dollars in tax revenue, and this isn't the first time. This was certainly the biggest uh, so far, um, but uh, it, it's been kind of the pattern of behavior over the last uh, you know, 12, 15 years. Over the years, um, we've lost over $7 million in funding. Perry Schools was hit hardest by the devaluation, losing nearly $2.3 million in annual revenue. Next in line, Willoughby Eastlake Schools, losing just under 900000 beginning in 2018. So why is the devaluation so drastic? First Energy said it would be exiting the competitive power generation business due to sustained unfavorable market conditions. And now the plant more accurately reflects its fair market value. Now there's a chance that Perry schools can get additional money from the state because they're taking such a huge loss. But continued losses in the future could be a problem down the road. We're concerned. There's no question about the... You know, we'd hate to see that plant be closed prematurely due to... Uh, the inability to compete in the market. Other government entities losing money include the County Board of Developmental Disabilities, Lake Metro Parks, and Lakeland Community College, to name a few. All will have to get used to operating with less. I'm Brandon Simmons, Channel 3 News.